I gotta show you what I found on the ground over here. So, uh, a friend of ours, little boy, got stung by a bee over here, or a few bees, and we didn't know that this was up underneath here, up underneath the, the telescope platform that hopefully is gonna be a telescope building later. <laughs> but so many projects and so little time. That thing is terrible. That is just an amazing nest. And it looks like it was a paper nest, a lot like a hornet's nest. I think it was surrounded with these uh, bits of wasp paper. I'm gonna run over here and grab the trailer. We're gonna get some hay and some straw hay to feed the sheep. We have some left, but I don't think we have enough to last us until the grass starts growing again. Straw for our potato patch to grow some potatoes. Crawling around on the ground digging potatoes is pretty rough. So we're trying to do something kind of like a raised bed. But you build wooden raised beds, they only last two, three, four years, unless you're using some kind of really heavily treated wood. farm damage. This is from moving the chicken coop and turning too sharply and it pressed up against the back. Now I've got a scuff in the paint. Took the paint off. Simka, why are you coming with us? Here's our straw and here's our hay. that I built before are working really well. Um, so I just put a block on the posts on the ends and then I'm running a board across to the other side. So that's what I'm doing here. I put my blocks, I put my blocks on the uprights and then I'm gonna run a board across to the other one. So that's all I've done so far. I don't think I'm gonna continue I've got all four of them done. I'm trying to get them out of the sun. Try to do it real quick this morning and get it out of the sun before the sun shines on them. These are the cross beams. I just don't want them getting warped but with the sun shining on them. The roofing for the house just got dropped off a couple hours ago. It all comes in one big long stack. It's somewhere around 25 feet long. So those are gonna be a lot of fun to get up on the roof. And I believe those are the first ones that I put on. 
but there's a ton of preparation. I have to get my measurements just right so that they, you know, the tricky part is over here. This is gonna be the tricky part. And the beginning of this is going to involve that. <laughs> so um, this metal will have a piece of flashing on top of it. And then those pieces will go on top of that. So really I should start out putting this one on, but to get the exact correct distance of where to start it, I need to figure out how this piece lines up. <laughs> so I need to do some of that figuring. And then I also need to think about my uh, three quarter inch uh, fascia board that's gonna go on here. Make sure everything's straight. I might just put, I might even screw down some blocks to just bump it right up against the blocks to get it in the exact spot and exactly straight. Got our heat match today. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that here. It's just the right size. So that's all set now, but really what I came over here for was some chalk. I gotta grab some of these little scrap pieces of sidewalk chalk. Let's see if that'll help me marking out some stuff on the roof. Okay, panel number one is up there and it's straight as an arrow, I hope. <laughs> because it is completely screwed down. So I definitely hope that it is straight. Um, now I'm gonna work on this little area and try to tie all that together before I start moving out that way with more panels. Um, it is a pain to get a panel up there. I gotta put three cargo straps onto the panel. I'll, I'll show you. It takes a little while to get all the starts done. <laughs> all the places where the beginnings are starting and then and then now I can probably move a lot quicker finishing out here which I probably just said a minute ago so here I've got this piece uh, going on that little narrow part and I've put in a, a silicone a little piece of flashing right here at the joint where it's gonna be a little more difficult and then I've done some flashing up underneath. Oh, you can't quite see it. Try looking at it this way. Caleb got off work and stopped in and helped me get a bunch done. So we got three more pieces of roofing up there. And then I went ahead and put on that uh, flashing one piece of flashing on there that I'll start putting the the top roof pieces down to. 